Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. Hamilton County School Board members unanimously approved a contract for the man they chose as their next superintendent, Dr. Brian Johnson. Now they just need his signature. Channel 3's Tanisha Cornell tells us more about the terms of the contract. Tanisha. Well, it was a rather short discussion, but board members ultimately agreed on a four year contract for Dr. Brian Johnson. Board members say they're glad they've reached an agreement and are ready to move forward. We are unanimous. Perfect. Congratulations, y'all have a new superintendent. It's been nearly a month since the Hamilton County School Board picked Dr. Brian Johnson to lead the district. And now they're one step closer to sealing the deal after finalizing Johnson's contract. There's been a lot of hours put into it, trying to meet in the middle and, and meet everyone's needs, both the county and the new director. Among the hot topics was Johnson's salary. At $197,500, Johnson is being offered a relatively low salary compared to past superintendents. But the contract says if Johnson hits certain benchmarks, he could earn more money. Board member Rhonda Thurman isn't sure those benchmarks are attainable. I hope that doesn't look bad for him if he doesn't meet these benchmarks because these benchmarks are pretty high. And I know we, we put them there for a reason because that's, that's where we want to be. Board member Caritza Jones says she's optimistic that Johnson can reach those goals. He believes he could, that he can, so he probably will. Um, and I know that we have aspiring um, teachers and administrators in our system that can support him to do that. In an effort to avoid a potential buyout, the four-year deal prevents board members from extending Johnson's contract until the end of his third year. Johnson's performance will be evaluated by board members each year, and he will have the right to respond. It's a way for everyone involved to identify problems and work towards solutions. Here, if you're not happy, it's because you haven't followed the contract. There, there, there are things built in here for y'all to lay out expectations and to, and to have him follow those expectations. The contract calls for Dr. Johnson to begin work this Monday, July 17th. We're told Johnson will try to be in place by Monday, but he could be delayed as he leaves his current job with the Clarksville Montgomery County School District. In the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.